Hi there, this is Marhad Dad here again. In uh, this lecture, I have to show you a type of attack that happens on our land, which is called the MAC address attack, MAC address table attack. So what does it mean really MAC address table attack? We know on uh, every switch there is a MAC address table, right? And inside this MAC address table, there is the port and there is the MAC. So that means that this switch, for example, he said that on his port, Ethernet 0 over 0. So here, Ethernet 0 over 0. There is the MAC address which is of this computer. So that means in case anyone, if we have a computer here, want to send to the MAC address which is for this one, then he will send it to the switch and this switch will look on his MAC address table and say, okay, it's going to this MAC address. I know that it is connected to my port Ethernet 0 over 0 and then it will send it this way. So that's really nice uh, how this switch works. And that's why we call for the switch as a layer two device because it looks to the MAC address. But uh, this also is a big vulnerability and a lot of attackers can use it to be able to make their attacks. So let me explain to you what is exactly the MAC address table attack. Let's imagine that we have a uh, hacker who has, uh, for example, access to a computer or maybe he connect to his computer directly to your network. So he is on uh, this switch. Now, as we said that the, the, the switch has what is called the MAC address table, correct? So that's something we know about it. Now, this MAC address table doesn't have unlimited uh, space to put all the MAC addresses. So it's normally limited, all right? It could be for a couple of uh, uh, thousands uh, of uh, entries that it can handle, depending on uh, the switch uh, that you are having. But anyway, what did this hacker will do, he will send really a lot of numbers of uh, MAC addresses saying that all those MAC addresses are connected to this interface. So what happened on this switch, he will put the port and MAC address port, MAC address port and MAC address for thousands and thousands of the entries. Then what would happen is that the MAC address table of this switch becomes completely full. Now, once the MAC address table is full by those fake information of our fake MAC addresses, then this switch will start to acting as a hub. That means that any traffic, for example, if we have here another computer and another computer here, even though that he knows the switch on his MAC address table, he knows about uh, the MAC of this computer and of this computer. But if this computer, for example, is sending something to this one, then he will send it to the switch. The switch, because his MAC address table is full, then he will send it to all its port, but of course not from the ports from where it came. So he becomes like a hub. He will send it from all the ports, but not from the port that uh, from where it came. Now, what's going to happen that all this traffic will be intercepted by this uh, hacker because this hacker, he can put some capturing software here and all the traffics that are sent in the network are coming to copy for him so he can capture them and he can see what are those information there. So we have two problems here. Problem number one, we have the switch has the full on his MAC address table. So all his uh, MAC address entries are full. That means the switch now has very high CPU and high, very high memory because it's already full. Two, we have a problem that this hacker will receive all the frames that are sent from all the, the devices in the network. And if he has a, a capturing software, then he can check them and they can see some important uh, information. So that's something we really don't want to happen. All right, so this is the idea of the MAC address table attack. Now, what I have here, I have a switch now. So this switch is connected to my attack machine, which is using running uh, Kali Linux. So I'm going to run for you to show you the, the attack. So just to show you that how this happens, all right? Now, of course, for the CCNA, you're not responsible to know that. But I just want to show you that uh, once we do the attack, what's going to happen? And once we secure the switch, what's also is going to happen? So first, let me just show you. This is the switch. If I make here show Mac address table. So you can see that this switch at this moment, he has only one entry. We say that on uh, his interface, Ethernet 0 over 0, there is this MAC address, which is the MAC address of the Kali Linux, actually, because it's only connecting one PC, which is the Kali Linux. And he has learned it dynamically, and it is on VLAN 1. So you see, we only have one entry. Now, let's run the attack and see how many entries will happen over here. 
So this is my Kali Linux. And over here, I have to write this comment, Mac off and then minus uh, I on the interface Ethernet 0 over 0. And now it will send something like 8,000 entries, I think, per seconds. But let's uh, run it. So I think that uh, I made a mistake here because if we say I have config, the interface is Ethernet 0 and not Ethernet 0 over 0. So let's clear and go back again, write the same command and Ethernet 0. And here we go. Look, all those entries are sent now. And if I go to the switch now, you, you can see that I cannot write anything because the switch is very busy. Now let's stop it before everything is broken now. Okay. So I'll go now to the switch. So now if I do again show my address table, we had only one entry now. Look, you see all those entries are there now. You can see that all are on Ethernet 0 over 0 of this switch. And that's really amazing. You can see I'm just clicking on space now, which means page after page. And you can see how many entries we have. And that's really a very, very bad attack. And you saw when the attack was happening, the switch was not responding. So that means any traffic which is passing to the switch or it's drop or it's sent from all the uh, ports uh, that are uh, uh, for any network, which also including the hacker, which can get the copy of it. So, yeah, sorry guys, but uh, this is really very bad. This is really very bad. So we need to see now how to mitigate this problem, how to uh, solve this problem. So in case any hacker is doing such a type of attack on our switch, how we can solve the problem to not at the end fall into this problem. Because all what you see here, those MAC addresses are really fake MAC addresses, but the Kali Linux is ge generating them. And then that's making your MAC address table full on the switch. All right, so now you got the idea. We show how the attack happens. Now let's go to the upcoming lab to show you what measurement you need to do in order to avoid falling into such a problem. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.